requested that I do my brows um, feminine. So I'm going to try to do this. Um, this is probably like my first time actually doing a makeup makeup tutorial on YouTube. I do not consider myself a professional. Let's get that straight. Let me try to get my camera out of focus just a little bit. But um, I'm gonna do my best, right? So I'm gonna do my best. I'm working on um, a lot of content today, so I'm gonna definitely do my best. Um, basically, I've been learning a little bit more techniques with doing my makeup. I know. So um, I'm gonna use the Elf, and you gotta look over it. It's not well put together, but I'm gonna use the Elf primer today. And they said to just put this on your face. It pretty much makes your makeup stay a little bit longer. So I'm going to actually put it on my face. It gets your face ready for makeup, right? I'm gonna put it on my face. I don't know if I should've put it around my brow area, but I'm gonna put it around my brow area too, so. Let's see. When I film, I do content for several platforms. So I'm going to also work on my Instagram at the same time. Because I am definitely working on my Instagram to pretty much get it how I want it to look. I've been working on it for years, actually. So bear with me. I am a multitasker. So um, I'm gonna get a few videos on that too. But I don't know, pretty much, you're gonna want the primer. What's going on my eye? Pretty much, pretty much you're gonna want the primer to set in. Um, and then I got a new eyebrow pencil from Walgreens earlier. My sponge just took a dive over to the other side of the room. I'm gonna stop saying too that content takes a lot of time to do and a lot of effort. I'm gonna just pretty much begin to let things flow for me. If it's right, it's right. If it don't, it don't. I'm not gonna really, really get into the idea of things just being perfect. Because I think when you get into the idea of things being perfect, that um, that's when you really, really mess up. So we got a NYX pencil. I, like I said, I got the light brown. The light brown from Walgreens, right? And I am just going to I'm gonna have to wash the primer off my brow because it's not gonna taste. See you living and you learning. Okay, it's messed up. I thought that I had NYX um eye pencils before. Maybe this one is too dark, I don't know. But it's not even coloring the way I want on my skin. And baby, it's not gonna work out. So I'm gonna take some concealer. It's called True Match Concealer. And I'm going to try to shape up my eyebrows. So, so I'm winning it right now because I don't, I don't pretty much got it here and figured out that this is not gonna work. I must have had some other type of brow because the one that I had before, they, they, um, color very well. I'm gonna go to Dollar General. I know I got some of my there before, but the brow pencils that I had, I had for years. I know, but concealer will definitely clean up your clean up your own. So 
Oh, I got stuff everywhere in here. I'm gonna get a little help in a minute. I'll get just a little help in here, cleaning up some of this. My stuff is everywhere. Y'all gotta excuse me, I am trying to film. And I don't have help. My children go and hide when I get on the camera, actually. So, um, we're gonna do the best that we can. Let's kind of color these in. If I had a black, if I had a good black pencil, I could really do this. But I don't look like it's gonna work out. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest. I had to do some little I had to do some stuff. I had to use this right here and line my brow, and then I had to use the concealer to actually bait it out a little bit. So I'm working with what I got today. I'm working with what I got. So this is how it looks. Like I say, I'm really, really working on it, but. You use this this gel. I got this from Ulta, and you put it on there like that. Like that. It makes it stay. And so, like that. And I'm just gonna let that bake for a while. It's called baking. And so, you just go in here like that. They're a little darker than I want them to be, but they're okay. I have learned a lesson about my lashes too. I've learned to do my, if I'm gonna do eyeshadow, go ahead and do my eyeshadow before I put my lashes on. That way my face um, doesn't, um, my eyeshadow don't be sitting on top of my lashes and my lashes look very, very clean. So that's another tactic. We're gonna go ahead and I used to fit me. This is a 355, it's a darker color. I'm gonna put that on my forehead. Like I said, I have already went ahead. I have already went ahead and frame out. I'm doing these streaming, trying to upload more to my YouTube. I think I can be better at it. Um, I think that I can get better. I 
like the duo blue. I don't try a lot of them. And, um, I mean, not lipstick, but um, this is not the color I want. So I'm gonna go with a little bit more makeup on my forehead. A little bit more on my forehead because I had that scarf on. Big forehead's wind on it. just gonna pretty much soften the look I like it um, we're going to bring out our edges a little bit more my hair is a little bit too far back than what I was expecting it to be but it's gonna be okay this is the glue I'm using this is the glue I'll see y'all later. Okay, so this is my look. Working on it.